Hey guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Kelsey. That's Rachel. Big fight day today, Rachel. We just finished watching UFC Fight Night. So let's talk about that first. Main event. Derek Brunson versus Kevin Holland. I was excited about this fight, Rachel, and I was entertained by this fight. What did you think about it? It was a little less entertaining as it continued to unfold for me. So this is something that's hard for me. So I'm going to make up a story here. I'm going to make up a story that... Maybe Holland got into this fight and kind of didn't know what to do to past a certain point. And so he kind of didn't take it as serious as a way to... Do you know how somebody will make a joke about something so that they can kind of just laugh it off and be like, oh, I didn't, you know... It's a defense mechanism. Yeah, that's the story that I'm making up. I wanted, I wanted more from Holland. And I told you by the end of the fight, I was like, man, I bet there's somebody out there that sees Kevin Holland and is like, oh, I would love to get my hands on him and train him and mold him into a much better fighter. But props to Brunson, who did what he was good at and just kept going at it with the takedowns, the ground control, and won the, on the decision on the cards. Yeah, I would like to give credit to Derek Brunson for his excellent win. I actually talked to both of those guys you this did. week for Heavy on it, and I really enjoyed both the conversations. But Derek Brunson, he's now 4-0 since deciding to move over to Sanford MMA, so he leaves where he lives in North Carolina. He travels over to the Fort Lauderdale area. It doesn't go to the beach, he told me. And he, he's working there with Henry Hoof. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a world-class gym. He has been doing great. Four fight win streak. He said that if he thought that if he won this fight, he deserves to be in title contention. I I agree with them. I love this fight. Um, I love Kevin Holland. Yeah, I love watching Kevin love- Holland fight. I know he's got a, a ton of talent. I asked a coach, an MMA coach, fairly recently within the last year about Kevin Holland, who knew Kevin Holland, and I asked him um, about him, and he said he's great, man. He can really be a world champion. If he gets his head on right, and I thought that was a weird thing to say, you know, like I didn't expect that, yeah. and I almost even asked Holland about it, but I was like, I don't know what good can come from that. <laughs> but I saw it on the video when we were watching um, ESPN. Obviously, he's very talented. He's a very good. I mean, he almost won the fight a couple times with some pretty um, excellent Powerful strikes. Powerful strikes, yeah. It appears that he's a really, really good fighter. He loves to entertain Peter people. I can't really even harsh him for being who he is inside the Octagon. Mm-hmm. He does that in the Octagon, out the Octagon, on social media, however he is. He told me he actually did, did that before. Anybody knew who he was. Like That's just who he is. I like it. I would like to see him be better equipped to handle certain situations, especially when... The guy wants to make it a wrestling match. You have to, and and you're and you're winning the fight every time you guys are standing. You've got to know how to stay standing. There's guys in the UFC like Israel Adesanya is a good example who who doesn't really have a ground game, but is a world champion, right? Mm-hmm. He's a world champion, and and the crazy thing is that Holland does have a ground game. He's a he's a he's a submission artist as well. So he's got a lot of great tools. Um, I like watching him fight. I loved this fight headed into it. I expected Holland to win. He didn't, but I want to see both guys again, and I enjoyed it. I agree with you about Kevin Holland, that if this is his personality and him being himself, all that although Rachel, I may want to see like a sense of urgency and more seriousness. If that's not him, I would much rather any human being be like who they are. Who are you? I think that Kevin Holland, long term, will be happier if he is who he is and not who Rachel wants him to be or, you know, anybody else. So I think that that's just important. I just wanted to emphasize that point. Other, what's the, like, one other thing? I just wanted to on say the, this fight there was card. a fight on the card where the entire fight. All three rounds was basically a headlock. Yeah, that's my one other like thing I wanted to point out <laughs> about amazing. UFC. It was amazing because it was every middle school fight or even high school fight that I had seen really growing up. I always talk about how when I was younger, all people did when they fought was throw hands and they'd get on the ground and have like a headlock. And that's what this was. Yeah, that was my one thing for UFC <laughs> Vegas 22 was the uh, fight that was just all headlock. Somebody tweeted out that this was, uh, it was, this reminded them, Conejo's fighting style reminded them of trying to steal the remote from like your little sister. Like, because it was just <laughs> all three rounds of being in a headlock and being like, yeah, I'm winning. 
you're done. Like it was, it was, uh, it was great. It was fantastic. It was really <laughs> exceptional, and I think the epitome of ultimate fighting. <laughs> That's Rachel. I'm Kelsey. Thanks for watching.